I'm the GRM, the Guest Relations Manager of the Thief Hotel in Oslo, and I've been here for 18 years in this wonderful city. The Thief Hotel is a it's a new project, in fact. It was something that didn't actually exist in the city. A boutique hotel with a very strong art connection, uh, with, yeah, I'd say a top-end service. And I'd describe it as an informal property. I highly recommend our guests arrive with a good pair of walking shoes and they actually discover the city on foot. Everything is within 10 minutes of each other. There is no bad weather in Oslo, or no bad weather in Norway. In fact, there's only bad clothing, according to Norwegians. If I was a business traveler in Oslo and I had um, half a day to, to wander around and discover the city, one of the first things I would do from the Thief Hotel, I'd walk to the Astrid Fernley Museum. It's probably one of the finest collections of modern and contemporary art in Scandinavia. And it goes from Damien Hirst, Jeff Koons, Gilbert and George, fantastic collection of modern and contemporary art. Beautiful building designed by Renzo Piano, and it's on the waterfront. So you have all the elements of a really, really beautiful museum and a really great place to visit. Once I'd been around the museum and worked up an appetite, I would definitely head across to a restaurant called Et Bourg, uh, which means, translated means one table. Hi, How welcome you, back to How me. are you, sir? Nice very to see well. you. Good to see you again. Excellent. What's yeah. for lunch? To lunch, we have a fish soup. I was very impressed with uh, this farmed table concept that they have. They know where their goods come from. They work seasonally with local producers, and I think that, for me, is the future of cooking something very, very new to the city. So Norwegians weren't uh, used to communal dining. They weren't used to actually sitting next to people and striking up a conversation with neighbor. But Et Bohr actually puts them in a position where they're almost obliged to. So it is, yes, it's very new, very new to the city, but it's been, uh, it's been very well received. People are, people are enjoying it. After a delicious lunch at Et Bourg and you uh, want to discover the city and find what the city has to offer from a retail and fashion point of view, I would definitely head for T. Michael. T. Michael's a very interesting tailor, in fact. I, I met him in Bergen many, many years ago. He is a bespoke tailor. He's very sort of Savile Rowish, And to find a tailor of that quality in Bergen was quite surprising. He's now opened in uh, Oslo. He has outlets all over the world, in fact. Now he's opened a store in London. And he's um, designed uh, not only suits, shirts for men and for women, but he now has a new concept called Norwegian Rain. And he designed Rain Wear that has now gone completely viral. It's a beautiful shop. He's a great tailor and uh, a very interesting character. As you come to the end of your four hours of museums, dining and shopping, I'd highly recommend a relaxing drink at Fulen. Very cool coffee shop during the day, turns into a vibrant cocktail bar in the evening. They started, in fact, as I say, specializing in coffee. Uh, they then branched out into a, an art deco cocktail star bar lounge and a very unique concept of being able to buy anything you can actually see in the bar. Anything you see in the shop, you can actually purchase. I think after the four hours in Oslo and the places I recommended, you'd feel that Oslo was an international city with an international quality, but also with a sense of responsibility. Uh, a lot of the people we've spoken about are very concerned about environment, they're very concerned about where their products come from, how they put their products together, and the future of their respective businesses. I find that very rewarding, I find that very stimulating that people do have an awareness and uh, a responsibility to our, for our future. <laughs>